Valley Quilt Show. I am super duper excited. Um, look, 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 look. I have already ran through the store. I mean, ran through the show, like really quickly. This show is epic. It is so good. Can't wait to share it with you guys. Now, hopefully you can hear me um, when somebody pops in. I'm gonna need them to tell me. Hopefully the Wi-Fi um, is with us today. Now, super, I, I can't wait to show you guys this show. It's so good. This was worth the three, three hour plus drive that I did for no reason, just kind of doing the things. No worries, it's all right. Um, if, so I've gotten comments before, people do not like when I stop and I talk to people and people do not like when I, what's up Teresa, can you hear me? Can you hear everything, are we good? I know people don't love when I stop and I talk and people don't love when I do the things. And this might not be the place for you, maybe. So um, I will stop, I will talk to people. It's just a thing, we're hanging out live. We're, we're with our quilty BFF, so you already know. All right, I've taken, I'm gonna take another swig of water and then we're in. We've got best of show large, best of show small, most memorable. Look at all the cash prizes. They are killing it. I mean, I realized that, oh, if I did the thing, you'd be able to see that. Okay, don't worry guys, I'm getting it together. We're warming up. It's an amazing show. You guys aren't ready for this. You talk about a good show. Okay, I am going to show you this without showing you her. There we go. And we're just gonna press that button. That is not the button that I wanted to press. All right, here we go. Right here. Look at this. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, let's do it. We're doing it. We're going. We're going. It's happening. Y'all are ready? Oh my goodness. This is like when you're going on a roller coaster and you're going up to the top and you're getting ready to drop down. This is it. It's happening. That's how I feel right now. Like my stomach is all in just giddy. I'm just absolutely giddy to show you guys. Okay. I have no idea exactly where everything is, but we're going to just do the things, okay? We're just going to do the things. All right, here we go. We're cooking. We're cooking. Do you guys want to start here in the back? Well, we might as well start here because I know that the Wi-Fi is still holding up right here. Hey, if you're here, you guys know to pay your taxes at the door. I want to see those thumbs up so that we can push this out to all of our Quilty BFFs. All right, let's do it. So here we're looking at hand quilting. No, this is wall. All right, guys. I mean, oh, it is hand quilted. Okay. Give me a second to get my bearings. This is the best in hand quilting. Look at this. Very, very interesting. That was just an absolute perfect high. <laughs> I wanted you to, so she could see your shirt. Oh. I'm turn. Can she see it? Oh no, she's not paying me any attention. Harry. <laughs> I said, did you see her shirt? It's so cute. <laughs> so sweet. Okay. Let's see here. Best computer assisted long arm quilting. I love that we have a differentiation there. You know how I like that. I swear, smaller, smaller shows seem to get the categories right. I mean, I'm not saying that the big shows don't, but I'm saying that they don't. That they don't. <laughs> Look at that, that's beautiful. Let's check out the quilting. Christina, happy dance. I'm happy dancing over here. When I tell you this show is stellar, I mean, it's a stellar show. You guys are gonna love some of these quilts. Um, it feels right, like this is the kind of quilt show, ugh, they just feel right, guys. So this is Best of Show by Dr. Pete Kistler. You guys seeing that? Okay. And we're walking in. Check that out. Look at that, like knocking down with the little meander. Beautiful turned edge applique. It's just gorgeous. It's just gorge. Now, sometimes I go a little fast, but remember, you can pause it once it's, you know, running again, and then you can, um, you know, check out what you need to check out. Give it a little pause. 
This is most memorable quilt. It is quite memorable. And here we are with this design. This is by Cecilia Westerfield in Bakersfield. What's up, Noemi? Oh, we got some wool work here. Ooh, yes, family. It's nice. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Now we've got, <laughs> oh my gosh. This was done on a domestic? My goodness. Look at this. Uh, oh, sh oh we're, we're getting a peek. We're getting a peek, guys. <gasps> Look at this. This is absolutely amazing. This was done on a domestic machine. Yes. And this one best in home machine quilting. And it is home domestic. This is absolutely exquisite. Look at this. Oh, the purple is in the. And then the green is in here. This is just. Could you show me the back again? So the purple and the green are in the case. Okay, now, this if you look, here's the purple here. Uh-huh. Oh, here's the purple over here. And then you have the green in between. Here's and the, the green in between. That's amazing. And it's look at this. Oh, she can quilt. Or he can quilt. Who is this? <laughs> it's, it's she. It's Inger. It's Inger. Guys, we know Inger. Inger's our friend. Yay! <laughs> I, oh, my. Oh, I love when I run into her stuff. I do know Inger. Inger is just amazing. Yeah. I look, I, Inger, it's you. Oh, she'll she'll watch this eventually. She'll be like, Max saw it. Oh my goodness. Oh, I get so excited. We know Inger. We've seen her tons and tons of times. We usually run into her at a quilt show. You too. Oh, how exciting. We know her. You guys, I know Inger said that she does not do technology and she does not do interviews and things, but one of these days we're going to catch Inger. And we are going to pull her to the side and we're going to ask all the questions. So get your Inger questions ready. Actually, you could probably drop them in the comment section. She actually watches our videos. Okay, this is... Oh, I see. That's who sponsored it. Greg is who sponsored it. I thought I was going to give Greg all the credit. Yeah, the edge work is stellar. Just, the, just in general, just look at what she's done here. Her decisions are always impeccable. She has quilts that I admire. I obviously just like her style. Okay, this is Cindy Gangler from Newcastle. She won best of, <laughs> is this best of show? Wall quilt. Look at these tiny little flowers, how she did them. They are the, um, Rosa, is it rosettes? I can never think of the name of these. You guys will tell me though. That's amazing. <laughs> I've seen you. You've seen me? I have. That makes me so happy. I'm a YouTube nut. Oh, well then I'm glad to know that YouTube finally sent me out to somebody who's not my mother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, I do a lot. I oh. just bought a new Triumph. Ooh. And so I am, you know. You're going to be getting busy. Time. You're going to be getting busy on that Triumph. Ooh, so. wait, you will. You will. I believe it. Right. I believe in you. You've got this. <laughs> I'll remember. <laughs> We've got Maryland droppers. I like this. This is a this is foundation piece. This is a um, legit kit pattern, and it's a cutie patootie. This is one best of best use of color. Best use of color. Oh, we've got some super colorful quilts to show you guys too. So this is best of show small quilt. Best of show small. Don't worry, you're not in there. Don't worry. Don't, don't worry, you're not in there. <laughs> whatever, don't, what, whatever. <laughs> she says she's in the witness protection program. <laughs> They're laughing. They're laughing for quilting. And you know what? We all should be probably. <laughs> this is by Sharon Schulitzhauser. And this one, best of show in the, what division is this? I don't know. 
Wow. Best of show. Small quilt. Small quilt. It's gorgeous. You know, your girl loves an ombre, and I love the way that she pieced. Can you guys see the square or the actual, the diamond? So it comes from here to here, and then it follows down at the bottom. And it, the quilting is beautiful. It's just a, it's a beautiful piece. Beautiful, beautiful piece. I'm touching it back to the I shouldn't be. All right. Let's book it to the right. All right. So I think I just hit small quilts here. And we will just do small quilts at a glance. And then we'll, we'll jump in there somewhere. I think we'll go over here. Okay. Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. I am loving what I'm seeing here. Oh, the Chinese New Year dragon. It's like a sea. Oh, it's an under. What a great concept. Underwater dragon. Chinese New Year. Okay. I'm officially obsessed. Oh, I'm obsessed with this. Okay, Becky. Yes. This is an amazing concept. Look at it. Oh, yeah. I'm digging it. And the beadwork. It just feels right. Nailed it with the fish. Oh, there's koi fish. Oh, I, I, I love that. This one is also by Becky. Becky's been busy. The fabrics are just divine. Wow. I am really, if you want to know what's happening, what the haps are. Again, you can um, pause it if you want to see it and read the things. You can pause it, you can pause it and screenshot it and blow it up. You guys got options. That's so cool. This feels very uh, Greek. Is this by Becky too? Oh, this is, oh, this is God's breath. Look at the ombre fabrics. Wow. Is she the featured artist? Because I'm good for stumbling into a featured artist section. Yep, she's the feature, featured artist. And I read that. Okay, Becky has been busy, but Becky is also awesome. Really, I think the Chinese dragon one's my favorite thus far. If you see something you want me to get close on, you guys know, shout it out. You know I'll do it. Oh, this one, PIQF, second place, 2021. Rosettes or yo-yos, thank you. I'm the queen of never saying uh, the right word for those things. This one, Best of the Quilt Show 2022. Wow. I wonder if she's got a series of, well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. What's up, Kathleen? Kathleen, best decision ever to come to this show. This show is amazing. I ran through it earlier just to kind of grasp what the lay of the land is and stuff and whatnot. And you know what? Get close to all of them. Okay, um, this one for sure. Check out the beads that are in between there that's holding this together. I want to call it a triptych, but it's not because there's more than three, right? Look at the use of that fabric. I wouldn't have thought to do that. I love that she adds bead detail. This one's gorgeous. I love the hair. One day, guys, one day. Oh, your knee was bothering you, Kathleen? I'm happy to do it for you. You know how I, you know how I love to do these things for you. You know it. I gotcha. Oh, look at the hair on this one, guys. Amazing. Look at what she used for the skin tone. It's not a solid. Not that the other ones were solids, but the texture and that slight green that does the shading, it's just really nice. Just nice, 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 nice. <laughs> Ooh, look at that, the background of this one. This is just an amazing, 
look at that. I don't know. It's between Sea Dragon and God's Breath for me. Tell me which one you guys like the best. Just absolutely gorgeous. She's amazing. Oh, this is more of Becky's. Oh, nope. Now I want this one. Wow. All oh, 3D. Look at the dimensionality on that. Wow, she this bird is jumping. It's a turkey. Oh, cassowary. That is not a turkey. Oh, okay. not touching. Not touching. Wow. <laughs> I am obsessed with this. Obsessed. Look at the color. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I'm bad. Nobody told me to walk backwards. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Before they happen, so you can get yourself to them. So, Anne, I know there are a few different ways, but. I'm gonna plug the non-existent, okay, that's not even helpful, so no, I'm not. Um, I, you know, I just found out, found out about this one the other day, but there is a website by Rona the Ribbiter, and that's just what I said, Rona the Ribbiter, like a ribbit, like frog, and she has a lot of shows, but the problem is she has the big, it's not a problem, she has the bigger shows, so I'm trying to figure out how we can find the smaller guild shows, because this show is the kind of show where I would want everybody to come. Sometimes I go to a small show and it's like, oh, this is super small, it's cute if you're in the area. But this right here is like, nah, you should come. This is a good time. These, these quilts are amazing. Actually, the last couple of small shows that I went to were that. They felt like people should be there, like it's worth making a trip, if that makes sense. I mean, all quilt shows are worth making the trip, don't get me wrong, but some are smaller. There are quite a few quilts here. Oh, something got mad. Orientation lock, get it back. There we go, sorry about that. So, in the community that I am building at some point, that I keep talking about, there will be a section that tells you guys of where I'll be, what shows are where, so that you guys can all get there and we can all do the things. Hi! Hello! What you doing? I Yay! A cool TBFF! I get so excited! Oh, I love when you guys stop me. Oh, my I am gosh. so glad. I'm so glad to go to all the shows that I can't go to. I'm, this this one is amazing, though. Oh, yes. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be here. I'm and happy. I love how you do it because most of it, they just go through and just show. We get to see the detail in all your <laughs> stuff, and I love it. Well, I try. I try if I think about it. I get kind of excited, and then I lose my train of thought. And, but these are just some beautiful clothes today. And I'm it's all local. Yep, I'm so happy that I got a chance to, to come to this one. I almost didn't know about it. And one of our Quilty cool BFS was like, hey, you know, there's a show. It was only a three hour drive. Uh, where where you live? <laughs> Los Angeles. Yeah, okay. yeah not I too far. I'm not sure if you were in San Francisco or where you were. I know because I'm everywhere. Yes, you are. <laughs> I'm oh everywhere. Well, thank you guys so much for stopping me. I sure appreciate it. I know when I saw you, go, oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you. You too. Oh, look at the ombre. I wonder if she hand dyed these. This right here. All right, guys. This is also by Becky. Um, let's see. Look at this. So gorgeous. Mm. This one right here, uh-oh, she's got an ombre and she used it perfectly. But Anne, hopefully I answered your question. There's a woman named Rona the Riveter that tells you about, and apparently there, you can Google like quilt shows in the, in, like in the, the state and the city and that kind of stuff. You just have to um, 
you got to want it. You got to know that they're out there and you got to want to find them. And I see that right now is like quilt show time. There's so many shows going on right now. There are big ones and little ones. It's these little ones that I'm really after. Oh, this is a Jordan Fabrics design. Why do we keep doing this? Why does the orientation keep getting locked? What's going on here? Stop it. Does that mean it's unbalanced? I have multiple zip codes. Yeah, I wish. I need to, I'm gonna try to rebalance this guy. I think it's dropping to the right because it's not centered. And I don't want that for us. So we are gonna go somewhere and take a quick second to just get rebalanced so that I can give you guys a good show without jumping all over the place. I don't love that it's doing that. I need a spot to drop my thing on. That's not a good spot. Okay, let's just walk to the, the, let's walk to where we started so we don't get in everybody's way. Enjoy what you're seeing, enjoy what you're seeing so I can rebalance. Oh, look at those chairs over there. The art chairs, not the, not the folding ones. They have a great amount of folding chairs around here for people who need to sit. So thoughtful. I gotta find a table. I just wanna rebalance this, which is gonna be kinda icky for a second, but just give me a second and we'll get to it. I don't wanna sit it on somebody's table who does not want me there. Give me just one second and we will be back. Bear with me. Oh, it's doing it again. Yeah, it's not balanced. It's too heavy on the side there. It's making it work too hard. All right. Give me one second. You guys, close your eyes. I'll tell you when to look again. Okay. Ooh, that thing is getting hot, hot. Don't look, don't look, don't look. There we go. Ooh, that bad boy was hot, hot. That does not usually happen. The engine was working too hard. Let's turn it on. One second. All right, that feels better. Let's see, are we better balanced now? Okay. You guys can open your eyes now. Cool TBFF alert. <laughs> okay. Let's get back to it. I swear one day I'm going to do one and we're not going to have any issues. Oh, I'm sorry. We're not going to have any issues. We're just going to be coasting. Or one day we will have a photographer with us. And then you guys can see exactly how excited I get about quilts. Because sometimes I'm doing a little bounce back here behind this camera. Sometimes they make me bounce a little bit and clap. It's a thing. Okay. Right now I am in um, Lindsay, California at the Best of Valley Quilt Show looking at Janice Minyard's quilt. All right. Small quilt. This is a quilt kit. Boomerang half triangle. 
It does look like a mermaid. I like this binding on this. It's a great choice to go with those colors. Oh, they're looking at the back and I can see it. I wonder if you guys can see it. Hey, Catherine. If I, what's up, Janine? Is there a quilt yeah, show you haven't gone to? I'm so jealous. Well, um, yeah, there's a ton of them. I'm trying to get to them. I'm trying to get to them all. I'm trying. <laughs> this looks like fun. I wonder if this is foundation piece. Nope, it just says Peace. This is Judge's Choice. I want to get over there in that corner, but they're still enjoying and loving on that quilt over there. Ooh. It's a truck. It's lots of trucks. Now that's awesome for the truck driver in your life. Amazing. There's not enough room for me to back up and get the full quilts once I get in there. But we will certainly come in for the details. You can't, no jealous you're kicking it on your couch. I'm not, my back is sweating, so. And not because it's hot in here, I've just been walking around and I, again, I get very excited about clothes. Look at that. Look at the border. The border is absolutely genius. Ah, perfect. Now we can go over here and see what we can see. Hand quilted. Color wheels. Mm. Houses, the scrappy houses are all the rage. Honorable mention. Maryland droppers. Wow. Can I catch the light on that border? I love how it scallops in. Oh, look at the trees with the accents. But look at what she used as the stump. That's all fabric and it's just really a cool choice. Aw, she's got trees in her houses. And we've got the color my world. One day I'm gonna do this quilt. One day. Did I show you guys this one yet? I feel like I did not. Heart works. Did I do the other one? I think this is a Valor. Navy quilt of Valor. It's by Katie Couch Squire. In Koalinga, I know Koalinga. I drive up through it. That's the horse, That not the horses, the cows. Okay, a beautiful Bargello. No measure Bargello. Oh, I love the colors in this book one. Look at what you can do with the log cabin. Can you guys see the log cabin that's making these secondary designs? Can you guys see it? There it is, right there. You live here. Where? On your couch? Or in Koalinga? Or in where? Lindsay. <laughs> oh, 
wow. Oh, wow. All right, I want to get over there and those hens. Y'all know how I feel about some hens. I can give them a minute, I guess. Where can I go? Where can I go? Where can I go? Where's your cool? I haven't seen it. I like it. Yeah, they do. These quilts do. But see, that's what happens. And I mean, the, the cash prizes, I mean, it's not a huge, huge, I mean, $1,000 is, is great. But um, the way that they broke it down, I, I, I was telling another smaller guild, like, offer some cash, you know, cut out on some of the things and offer some cash and it will bring people out. I guess. And that, and, you know, quilting is just awesome. Look, there are eggs in the border and little chickadees. Oh, I'm tickled. Look, those are eggs at the top and chickadees on the side. I think we are in the large quilt category. I love the chickens too. What's up, Jazzy? Miss Joyce in the house. I'm gonna do a Kim McLean one day. As soon as somebody puts it on the SVG so that I can do it quickly. <laughs> Is this raw or is this turned? It's raw. Yep, I want to do a camp bad. Like, I want to do it, but I need an SVG file because I won't fuss a cat. I will not. I, I just don't. I don't know. Know about all that fussy cutting. Ooh, wee. Look at that. This is by Jane Davidson. The one straight ahead is Kelly Doll. That's a, a Judy Niemeyer pattern. And then over here we've got Deborah Russell. They're hanging out in there, but let's get this one here. Right. Where eagles fly. I am just too tickled about Inger Bloods. I, I just, you know, we Inger is truly a friend to the channel. And there we go. Oh, yeah. First place in the large quilt category. Check out some of this quilting. Oh, we got a flange on the border. You know, I like a flange. This is... Yes. Great. Not to put him down in front of the oh, Right. Oh, yeah. my. Look at the quilting right there. The swirly curly cues. So cool. Such a beautiful quilt. And then we've got this one here, which gives me kind of a, a computer vibe. I, I want to vote. Excuse me. I want to run because and I want to get who did that, but I'm going to let the ladies keep having their conversation and then we'll swing back because I think I'm making excellent time. Here we are. Ooh wee, you know, I like a Baltimore. Oh, what a pretty color choice. My goodness, this looks so good, guys. Wait till we get up close, but. That one is the colors for me. It feels like because of the flying geese and the colors chosen, it feels like a little bit more modern of a of a kind of a Baltimore feel. Oh, it's Tilda fabrics. Maybe that's why I like it. Boy, she she knows how to use a Tilda. Nancy nailed it. Look at this. This feels like such a 
even though it's it's still a Baltimore album style quilt, something very cool about this color story. It's got some burnt oranges in it and some blues down to a mauve or mauve. <laughs> I won't get into that discussion. Um, just a really cool color story. Something about it is just perfect. And then with that white right here, with this cream, oh my goodness. This is a, it's a killer quilt, killer quilt. Ooh. All right, I wanna do one of you guys. Can, how can we get Kim to put all the shapes in an SVG file so that I can politely iron so, and then just get cut it out with a machine? I do not fussy cut, guys. I mean, traditional fussy cutting, like cut something out, not doing it. Ooh, this is killer too. Look at the border. Nailed it. Border is amazing. Amazing. So nice. Ooh, does it feel masculine even though it has flowers because of the navy border and these blues? I feel like I could comfortably sleep under this. I've always wanted to do a floral masculine quilt because I think it can be done. I think I could do a masculine quilt in case. I really feel like I can. This is done by Nancy. I think I just like Nancy stuff. Nancy, are you just awesome? Oh, let's look at the quilting in the, look at the big flower. Oh man. Oh yes, yes light, yes. Oh, boy, I like this. Boy, I like that so much. Now, these two, yeah. What did this one, this one won second place in the large quilt design. Killer, killer, killer. Yes, that one is one of my favorites. We'll get there, we'll get there. This is a big one too. I love large quilts. I just think small shows. You know, well, maybe the shows that I've been going to have just been like art quilt heavy, maybe. No, I go to all the shows. I just like big quilts and I cannot lie. <laughs> Tilda. No, not ham. This is the best, one of the best pantos ever. Well, take it back. We did all but if you, I mean, the, the quilting really is forward on this quilt. Like, I really see a lot of it. But if you really look at that quilt, the, the piecing design, it's kind of awesome. Can you guys see it? It's kind of actually super awesome. What's up, Rochelle? Oh, I'm happy to show it to you. I'm happy to have some company. Because you see I'm always by myself. I said, husband, want to wanna make a run? Three hours, let's go. And he said, you know, I've got this chiropractor appointment. Oh, him and that darn chiropractor. He will not miss a chiropractic appointment. Leave it to the hubs. So it's me and you guys, my Quilty BFFs. And honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way because if he were here, I'd feel rushed. And you know what? You know who doesn't care how long I take? Y'all. And if you do, watch me on speed, like double time. I watch people on double time all the time because honestly, I don't have time to be watching stuff. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Okay, that was one of my absolute favorite fabrics from Tula's line. And she put it in there with, this is just, was this a kit? Oh yeah, you guys, please give me a thumbs up. It's like 70 of y'all in here. I like totally need the thumbs up. Do you not love what's happening here? Is it not epic level quilting? Oh, she used the collection. I wonder if this is a kit. Cause it's, oh, I want this quilt. When I say I want it, like watch out y'all cause I'll mess around and make it. Cause I can, cause I'm a quilter. No, I want this quilt for real, for real. Like if it had a price on it, you guys would be like, please stop buying stuff. I loved this fabric, the center fabric so much. What she's done with this Tula fabric is absolutely gorgeous. And then it, you know, it's an ombre and she cut it so that it's ombre and I'm just obsessed. What up, Deborah? What up, Tracy? Boy, I like that. Who did that? That's Dina Miskel. Okay, Dina, I see you. It's epic. Epic, epic. Okay, this is by Patricia Robertson. 
this quilting is super cool and that little curved shape right there how cool is that she used the background color in part of the the curve and i love it i love it i love it i love it i love what's happening here but this one here this one just calls me oh i want to do this look at that O shape it's like this feels um opulent i don't know why it just feels it feels like jewels to me and to do it in these colors oh i want to do i want to do this quilt i want to do it i want to do it i want to do it did it win it got third place in the large quilt category yo okay so you know how there's a conversation about big tight quilting on quilts that you can't you know it doesn't bend it doesn't breathe well here we do not have that problem this is some big but I really wanted to say a bad word. I don't know why I never curse. I don't know why today I wanted to say a bad word. But look, that's a big quilting, guys. It's big. It breathes. It moves. Look at that. Yes, my nails are super long. Get over it. It's okay. Um, look at that. It's big. Like, ginormous. Oh, I love this. And it's such a good choice. Is it a panto? Mm. Gosh, the size of this is killer. The size of the quilting in this is absolutely epic, guys. Nah, this isn't a panto, because look right here. We got super crafty. What is this? It's a, it's a Jin, oh, this is Jin Kingwell. Okay, we like Jin. Long arm quilted by Sandy Fong, uh, Sandy. First time, Deborah, you and Sandy, match made in heaven. This quilt is so, I love how big that quilting is. Special, all right. Obviously, I like it. I've been over here a while. There was somebody I wanted to show you guys. Because this is such a small show, I really don't want to miss anybody. I'm going to try not to. This one here is by Kristen Ellers. Ellers? And it's in the large quilt category. If I can try not to miss anybody. Did I miss this? I feel like I missed this. I don't remember loving on this. If I miss one, tell me. Oh, no, we did. We loved on this. We did, I think. If not, we'll do it again. Carol Mercer. You guys are doing a chandelier. Ch yeah, it's got a chandelier. It does have like a chandelier vibe to it, right? You guys, really? Why won't everybody give me a thumbs up? Why do y'all hate me? Why do y'all hate me? Is it because you're driving and listening to this at the same time? So I got to cut you some slack. Is it because you're watching me on TV and there is no thumbs up? I have no idea where the thumbs up is on the TV. Oh. Let's get those thumbs up, y'all. Don't we want everybody to love on this quilting and hang out with us? Don't we want more quilty BFFs? Ooh, this is cute. You see how it kind of swirls and then it gets bigger? And then it has these swirls right here. It might look like I'm close to this quilt, but I'm really like two feet away. It's really far. I don't want y'all to think that I'm going to touch something. <laughs> Thank you, Allie. I needed it. It's how I know you guys like me. You don't do it. I'm going to assume y'all are hating it. Boys will be boys. Oh, did somebody bring home a lizard? Because, you know, they will. <laughs> they, they really will. Does it have a tan on? What is happening here? I'm, I want to read this real quick. <laughs> oh, horses. I love horses. Aw. Aw, that's sweet. Aw. So sweet. Okay. No, I'm never, I'm not a show quilter, but if I, I've got a couple that if I finish, I'm going to enter so that way I can at least just try to get one in a show so that I can speak to it from a different perspective. Um, I want to be able to... Oh, this is cute. This is like the besties. I get it. I was like, what is besties? That's so cool. That's really cool. Best of the Valley Challenge to pick your best or oh, favorite, fill in the blank. That's really a cool idea. Great concept. Um, I want to be able to speak to quilting shows from a different perspective. So no, I've never, I haven't made anything to go. Actually, I've got, I've gotten a couple. Actually, I forgot. I've got a couple that could probably maybe i don't know i don't know should we do these real quick before yeah let's do these let's do these over here 
This is Viewer's Choice Quilts by Quilters 80 or Older. Oh, that's awesome. What up, Jody? Where is your quilt? Ian, is your quilt in the show? Is it? If it's here, I'm going to find it. Ian, if your quilt is here, I'm totally going to see it. I haven't run into it yet, though. I would know. I'd be like, oh, that's Ian. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> I was going hunting. Like, I put it in, I put it in my mind. <laughs> Where's the best in choice, Catherine? It's behind, it's actually behind me. I will, um, the best, best in, sh best in show, Catherine, is that what you're asking about? It's actually behind me. I'll show you real quick. Because, oh, no, no, you're not. Enjoy your show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I want to do this one so bad. I've got some ideas for it. I'm kind of obsessed with it. I'll show you the best in show. It was in the beginning, Catherine. It was like the very first quilt that I showed, but because I have wandered in a really weird way, I love purple quilt. So there's a quilt store that is going out of business. I love the chains here. Quilt store going out of business around about 20 minutes from here. And I stopped by and they have all the things that are left, right? And the things that are left is a bunch of purple fabric and a bunch of purple thread. So I bought a whole bunch of thread. That's the best in show right there. And then these are the most memorable. <laughs> What's up? Inger. So look, so we were over here, right? I'm over here and I'm, and I'm looking and I'm going through it and then she's showing me the back and we're doing the things and then and then I see the name and I'm like we know her I oh I'm so happy that you're here what you doing oh I'm just hanging out I'm as get, you should as get, you should I'm getting Ooh. Get Inger, come, oh come let's talk about it real quick I've been saying that I wanted to do this forever and since she won't zoom with me <laughs> I, know. I, know I know that's what I told him I said she does not zoom okay Inger's hanging with this this is her quilt she won best domestic machine quilting Everybody say hello to Inger. And um, let me show you guys really quick what it says if you guys want to grab it. All right, Inger, when you plan this, yes. did you just see the pattern and say, I want to do this? No, um, I did another quilt uh -huh. that with the K-Facet fabric tin. You know how it has really big flowers. Yeah. So I made diamonds this big. Okay. And now I have a bunch of fabric with holes in it. Okay. So I took the leftover fabric mm -hmm. and cut one and a half inch strips. Just cut it you up just cut strips. It. <laughs> yes. Okay. And then I cut white on white fabric. Okay. I can't tell, but there's a lot of different different uh, white on white fabrics in here. I cut them up in one inch strips. Okay. And then I took that quilt camp and made curved log inside. cabins. Where is their quilt so, camp? Yeah, so it's just just uh, Lake Tahoe. Oh. So it's just a curved log cabin right here. Oh, I see it now. I yeah. didn't see it before. So I made a whole bunch of those, and you can just sit and so so so. That was the easy part. <laughs> but when you put a curved log cabin together, it it kind of makes quilting difficult because it gets wonky. One wow. inch cabin, one inch cabin, sure. and then you have to figure out how how can I quilt this? And, oh my goodness! And if you if I sit, it would never work out where I could go all the way through. So I had to make a break to make to fit something else in. It's easier to see right here because you can see I could only get one and a half of these. It wouldn't fit to go all the way through with the same motif. So I had to make a break to put another motif in. But, do you do you measure this? Are you looking at this saying, okay, I have eight inches here and I can get a half inch in? Well, it took me a long time to figure this out. And um, when I finally figure out, I just make a break and do another motif. Okay. Then I did the same thing all over. So that was the, what took the longest was to figure it out. After I figured it out, it was easy to quilt it. <laughs> yeah, because you have a curved log cabin. Uh -huh. And you know, you see all the, the half inch lights here? Uh-huh, I so, do see it. So, so I have a lot of registration points okay. to do the quilting. I don't have to mark. It's all there from wow. the piecing. How long did this take you to do? Oh, uh, that's a question I get all the time. Yeah. I don't know. You don't know? Okay. No. Do you remember when you started it? Uh, yes. Uh, 
Well, quilt camp, so it would sit in a box between, okay. so it, it's probably five years. Okay, okay. But to quilt it, so you're not just sitting down and, and knocking it out when you, okay, no, okay. it's, it, I, I started this stupid design right here. So you started with the center? Yeah. And then you just moved and out? I, I got so tired of it, and then I just left it. You got tired of it? <laughs> then I came back to it, and I said, I'm not doing that anymore. That's why everything else is different. And it's a two-sided quilt. Oh, yes, yeah, she showed, yeah. She showed me the so, back. So yeah. on the back, that looks absolutely beautiful. Yes, and it, it does. is a bed quilt. It's, it's, so, so it's a. So you can flip it and get a completely new look. This quilt is a award-winning quilt. Do you? Would you put this on your bed? Yeah. <laughs> it's a queen size bed quilt. Yes. You would put this on your bed. Yes. That's oh my what goodness. It's made for. It, you can wash it, so cotton. Yeah, but I, I washed it. Yeah, but this is an award-winning quilt. Yeah. I just yeah. wow. I guess yeah. when you can make more. Yeah, <laughs> I I wash them, and I've I've had I had a quilt that I finished that was started in the thirties. Really? Somebody else did it. Yeah. And it was so dirty when I got that top. Wow. And when I got it, I I put it in. The washing machine, I don't use the action of the washing machine. I just put it in oh, hot, hot it? water with Dawn okay. dishwashing soap. Mm -hmm. It took all the dirt out. Wow. If it gets dirty, I just do that. <laughs> you just wash it. You just wash your quilt. Yeah. Tell me about this border. Tell me about okay. how you, you did these here. Okay. Um, this is the bias strip right here. Okay. And you have a bias strip back on the back. All right. You, so you cut, that. that's like the binding, but when you put something in, you have to have two instead of just one when you do traditional binding. Oh, I see. Okay. So I, I, I cut out all my triangles, mm -hmm. quilt them. I do all my loops, okay. which have yarn inside them. That's how I turn them. Ah. Now I lay it out where it gets the right length. Okay. And um, uh, I sew this bias strip on here at the same time I sew this on and make one seam. Wait, the back is, wait, Yeah, this, the back is curled. You got yes, curled. yes. So I'm just working on the border. The quilt is somewhere else right now. Okay. So I'm just sewing this piece of fabric and I have an equal piece of fabric on the back side. And I'm sewing those with this sandwich in between. Okay. And sew that. And now I, I sew it onto the quilt right here. This is open. I showed onto the quilt, and this is open right here. I see. Okay, now while that's open on the front, I sew this because I need to make the quilt one with the border. Okay. Otherwise, it would fold right there, and it wouldn't give it stability. Okay. Okay. So, so I sew that, and now it's the final step. I just fold this back and hand, hand stitch it. Hand Got stitch it. Mm -hmm. And to hide that hand stitch, I did a pearl cotton embroidery. Do you hand do the pearl cotton yes, or do you do yes, it? Yes, hand, hand. My goodness. Hand, hand. And it worked good because that was uh, Sue Spargo of pearl cotton. Uh huh. It came in just the right colors. colors. Yep. Yeah. I love Sue Spargo stuff. Yeah, yeah. I love it. And I don't do any hand work, but that's that's amazing. I love that you turn your loops. I turn them with, with, with yarn too. Well, I turn them with anything, but yeah. just sew it to the top and just pull it right yeah. through. Oh, and my I goodness. just I just finished this right before Road to California. Uh -huh. Down at Road to California, there was a lady selling this tube making kit. Yeah, yeah, I showed it. And yeah, yeah. And I just I bought it right after I did this. <laughs> and these are not completely uniform okay. like they would have been if I used her, her technique. Yep. So I bought that. Yeah. Next time I do it, I'll it'll be completely uniform. <laughs> Yeah. I love it. Inger, you just nailed it, as you always do. Every time thank I fall you. in love with a quilt, it has your name on it. <laughs> well, thank you for explaining that, because I've wondered, I wondered how people marked it and thought about it and yeah. quilted it and whatnot, and yeah. what part do you plan? Did you guys have any questions that I missed? I'm sure you did, and I just missed the questions. Anything good? I just yeah. used the piecing to, to quilt it, and it laced you, it all up for you. That's amazing. They're thanking you for explaining. There's use your best china plates and use your best quilt. I love that. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's how you do it. Yeah, uh huh. Oh, that's amazing. They're just loving on your stuff. You can see it. Yeah. Oh, what, that's right. I should ask her what machine it is. Yep. So let me just go to her channel and you see the all quilts. Oh my word! <laughs> yeah, I love it. What are you quilt? What are you using a quilt? What's your machine? It's a, a Benina Q20. Sit down. Sit. Oh, it's a sit down. Uh, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. 
It's the Bernina Q20. All right, now we know the things. <laughs> Inger, thank you, thank you, thank yes. you. I cannot wait to see you again. All right, now we're going back where we were, or where we're going. I don't know where. Oh, no, that's okay. All right, we're going down to pick up where we left off. That was amazing. I've never been able to, ooh, what is this? What is this made out of? Look at all the densely to knock it back. Oh my goodness. Gunmetal. Clear marks. Stop me in my tracks. We saw that happen. What did it win? It won wall quilt, first place. Yeah, that's, that's exquisite. It's really cool. Can you guys see the, um, it's like holographic fabric. It almost looks like a vinyl. And she bound it in that and everything in the background. All that black you're seeing is stitching. It's thread. Nailed it. Oh, these are pretty. Oh, what a pretty leaf design. Patricia Robertson. Somebody give me a California time check real quick, please. You know what we're, how we're doing on time. <laughs> wow, these are just, boy, we're seeing some good quilts. You took a class from who? Who did you take a class from, Inger? Does Inger teach classes? Should I be in an Inger class? It feels like I should. You still haven't finished the piece? It's 12.50, so it's one o'clock? All right, perfect. We've got a couple of hours. We got a couple of hours. Thank you. What is this? This is in the group quilt section. I love that people can work together as adults because you know what? After I got out of the college and the, the elementary school, I don't, I don't do so good with that. <laughs> I, just, I just don't. Partly because I just don't try. I just don't want to. This is really nice. I just don't, just don't want to play with, with, the, with others. I want to do my own quote. I want to put purple on everything. I want to do the thing. All right, let's see if we can get through this. We've got some people here. <laughs> this is Mary Matson here. Let me see, I'm gonna, they're blocking up. Hmm. No, we're gonna go this way. We're gonna go this way. I'm trying. Oh, I'm not gonna do it. I'm sorry, I'm dancing all around you all. <laughs> Oh, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Where, however, take your time. Everybody enjoy themselves. <laughs> get out of the way. No. Just get your little baby out of the way. Here we have uh, Mary Madsen again. We've got this beautiful peacock. Look at the peacock. Peacocking. Love this color story. It's simple, but it's actually quite stunning in person. It seems like it's a simple dot with some nice quilting elements in there. Nice border. Orange peels and turquoise. Just simple, cool. Feels kind of beachy, kind of got a beachy vibe to it. Visalia. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have got to stop walking backward. I know better. The beach, please. I love it. Didn't Tula name one of her things that? I think they made her change it, actually, now that I think about it. Um, I love a rainbow. Y'all know that. But this feels like it kind of gives you that watercolor quilt feel. Jason Yenter. I've seen Jason's stuff before. This is by Kathy Koga. A little raw edge applique for you for your quilting needs this is a really good panto behind it can you guys see the panto i, I love i'm loving pantos um, i can't believe she put that quilt on her bed guys she said i just wash it what do you mean it's an award-winning quilt come on she's just eh. that's what happens when you can make another one i can't believe she put that quilt in the, in the wash she says she basically soaks it. I mean, she's not agitating it really hard, but she drops it in there with that good dawn. It's amazing. 
I wonder if I would be that flippant if I could, uh, in the coolest way, <laughs> if I could make more. If she gave me that quote, it would never get washed. And if somebody got it dirty, <laughs> would not be happy. Not be happy. She says, what is for? It's what she made it for. What? You didn't make it just to, you know, just for people to come and see it? Quilts are meant to be used. Absolutely right. They absolutely are, but man, that would be on the wall somewhere. I mean, you'd need a huge wall, but y'all know what I'm saying. These patterns do so well in small shows. This is by Kathy Koga. This is the, she won honorable mention in the large quilt category. Kathleen, look at this fabric, it's beautiful. It's got those pretty wisps going through it. I like the quilting, I like the uh, borders. The border. Oh, you wash yours before you gift them? I do that with the babies, with the baby quilts. And look at these little dresses. The most important thing in a dress is the woman wearing it. Were you guys able to hear Inger? Because I'm mic'd and she was not and I did not pull out the other one. I hope you guys were able to hear what she was saying because she was really doing some explaining. And I can't, man, there's a lot of figuring out what goes where and, and not. She's just amazing. Huh, I know this song. This is pretty, pretty fabrics that are with it. Why is the wall shaking? I like that they're allowing quilt kits as an entry too. You just put it in a quilt kit category. That's awesome. It's awesome sauce. I've gotten a little confused about where we started in this aisle. Sue Riley. This quilt does not have one solid in it, and yet it does not feel too busy due to the placement and whatnot. It's beautiful. I love how many large quilts are in this show. That's how you know it's a smaller show. These quilts are probably mostly made for actual function, like you guys are saying. This one, first place in the large traditional category. That's awesome. I could totally, I could have afforded to sponsor one of these. I got to get into some stuff. I got to do the thing. I got to get into some things. This is a cool pattern. I love when people have the ribbons that are going in between the blocks or on a fashion or a border. That uh, ribbony, soup, 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 soup. You guys see it? When I tell you I am confused about where we started, Okay, we started over there. And then I missed all this over here. I like all those castle beds. Yeah. Why is it warm right here? 
in this section. Noemi, we have a Noemi here. Childhood memories. Oh, here's Janice's other one. Oh my goodness. This is so cute. It's so precious. Look at the little person in the in the house. <laughs> you know, when people fussy cut, you gotta showcase the fussy cut. <laughs> look at the beadwork on these flowers. And the swirls. Look, the girls have earrings. Oh. Oh, she's partying up here. This is a cute, this is a really cute quilt. Brings me joy. Ooh, so does this one. Is there a wall? It's another wall quilt. Let me get five. Right, Claudia, it was super cute, right? Yeah. I feel like that would be a Jonah quote. This is a, just a cutie patootie, too. <laughs> Big Brother Noah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at the horses and the I don't know, I'm just kind of staring at it. I'm such a country girl at heart. Look at that flower. I like that block. I'm such a country girl at heart. With long nails and lots of lipsticks. This is so cute. It's so fun. I think they are panels and quilted around. Look at that. Simple, easy, great baby quilt. And that's by Janice Mignard too, if you need it. There you go. Okay, so we, do we see this watercolor? This is pretty. I don't think I turned around. I was over here, but I don't think I turned around. Extra dresses, this is what she did with the extra dresses. She had three dresses left over, so she hung them out to dry. Did she paint this? I bought the background fabric and didn't know what to do with it. Permanent markers. Yeah, she got to it. Nice. Aw, she's 82 and killing it. I say 82 like daddy's not. Daddy just turned, what, 81? And daddy was just riding his motorcycle, so why would I think somebody at 82 could not quilt? Do whatever you want to do. This is a sweet, it's just sweet, you know? Small quilts, hand out. Okay, Alex Anderson. We know Alex Anderson. Matter of fact, isn't she up here somewhere? Like in this area? I don't know that to be true. <laughs> but I swear she's, she's, she's up here somewhere. <laughs> I don't have to ask her. She's got a friend who's got a quilt shop that I want to visit. This is nice and quilty, like somebody washed it. This looks like a three yard quilt, maybe, 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 maybe not. This one, um, honorable mention in the small quilt category. Look at the fabric used. That's a cutie patootie. All right, so we saw these, but did I, did I love on this one? I'm not sure that I did. This has a nice open quilting design. It's breathable. It feels like a quilt that you would not mind cuddling under. Question. Sure. Which one do you like best? That one or that one? <sighs> I don't know that I can choose. Let me see. Ooh. I like. I don't know, they're so different. They're so different. This one here is bold and it uses so many prints together all at the same time. And then we've got this one that feels nice and breezy and easy. And, and quiet. It, it, this one is definitely quiet. But you can see I'm not that quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I think I like them equally. And oh, I love the corners and just, I can find something to love on every single quilt in here. I think they're both just beautiful. Uh, they can I can't figure out how that's first place, uh -huh. that's second place, mm -hmm. that's third place. Oh. I can't figure out how they come to that conclusion. You know, 
I don't know. I don't know. And you know what? Some, something the judges have a list of the things they have to go by. I'm I, sure they do. I, because to me, I mean, I don't know how you could pick the best one. See, you could. Me, I can't. No, no, no. Not my gift at all. <laughs> Enjoy your show. Are you photographing everything? And my photo, well, we're live right now. We have 80 people with us, 90 people with us right now. And where are you from? I'm Los Angeles, California. I have a YouTube channel and we're hanging out. This is what I do. I go around to all the quilt shows and for people who can't be here, sometimes I get, you know, five views. Sometimes I get 100,000. It just depends. I'll get some quilts and you like to interview me. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, tell me where your quilts are. Um, that one right there. We were just talking about your quilts. We were just talking about this area here. You have an award winning quilt. I do. I've got a second place on a large quilt. Okay. Tell me how this one came to be. Uh, the fabric line is a tilde. Okay. And Well, and people love their tilde. Yes, Tone Finnegan's from Norway. Okay. And I just chose a plain white background and focused on that same block. It's called salt and pepper. I guess you can tell because the black and no. white. No. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my quilt. Nice. Who uh, long-armed it for you? I did. <laughs> Look at you. So fancy. Okay. And tell me what you thought about when you started long arming this, because this is custom. This is not a regular so pantom, custom, but yeah, simple custom. Okay, all right. Because the Statler that I have. Oh, she uses a Statler. Gamble. Uh huh. Uh, this is just one block, simple. Okay. And then the sashing is just repeated across. Oh, I like it. So I was talking about the ribbon before you came over. I was talking about the ribbons oh. in there. I like so it. So it's not as difficult as it looks. Okay. Really? All right. it, because it looks very difficult. But it also looks breathable. Do you use this quilt? It looks wonderful. Well, not, not yet. After it gets home. Okay. You yeah. will use your quilt. Yeah, but it's brand new. I like it. So, yeah. I like it. Okay, show me something else. Of mine? Yes, why not? It's going to be... We would just... We <laughs> were just commenting on... We don't know how you can differentiate between first, second, and third. The first is usually in the back and the blue ribbon is always... Yes, I, no, Catherine, they have a gazillion white gloves out here. Like, every two steps. Oh, it, it's great. They, they just have a lot of... Um, people here that are working the the show which is amazing so you feel like you're assisted every when i hit the door there were about eight ladies there like hey what's up what you do they, you just feel it feels right you know y'all know it feels right i'm gonna go with her and we're, we'll just go on an adventure you know me i'm down for whatever <laughs> you want to you want to show me your quotes i want to see them tell me about them we might stumble upon something they're talking i'm gonna just keep going while they're doing their their combo here we go this is hand quilted here me too look at the owl oh i'm obsessed with the the quilting so how it i'm going to back up so you guys can see what this is doing in these areas and how it is see that see how the quilting is adding dimension like pixel it made it look like it's a pixel quilt but it's really not it's just fabric here i come <laughs> I get, I've been here for a week. Oh, I know where is. No. <laughs> well, that's all right. We'll go on a little adventure. We all like to go on adventures. We're all quilty BFFs here. It might be over here. Okay. Lunch. It is, it is perfect. The hot pink one right there. Where? Or are you talking the hot pink one? Hot pink one, hot pink one. Oh, this one right here. So with this one, did you put this one yourself? I did. I feel like the quilting is forward. Like I can see the quilting, but the piecing behind it is such a cool pattern. It's a wreath. I don't know if you can see the I wreath. Can, so it's a wreath. And we it we is talked about tilde it. Tilda fabric also. Ooh, Again, I didn't know this was tilde. Including the background. So you're a tilde lady. Huh? I am a tilde follower. <laughs> A uh, hoarder. Oh. You know, <laughs> all right. Let the truth be known. That's all right. Yeah. Oh, I see solids in this one. This one has some solids in the uh -huh. in the corners. And that was Tilda's line that was chambray. Hmm. So you know what chambray is, right? I do. Okay. I haven't gotten into Tilda yet, though. Oh, I'm a Tula. Sister. I'm a Tula. Eh, I only have a little bit of that. Yeah, but see, you have a little bit. I need to get just a touch of Tilda. Mm -hmm. But I think so the piecing back here is Tilda's gorgeous. Tilda's world .com. Tilda's world .com. She's got a whole world. It's a, her website. Uh-huh. It has all these free patterns. It's a free pattern. Okay. And I just decided to. I like it. this. Yeah. I think that that yeah. pattern is so cool. And I have one more. All right. If you want to see that? Yep. Let's see it. Okay. Aw, it's a cutie patootie. It's the challenge. Okay. So you had to choose the theme is besties. Mm -hmm. 
but Tilda is my bestie, so <laughs> I got away with it. You right? know what? If somebody asked me my besties, I'd say Tula. So I get it. Okay, I get, I get it. it. Yeah. <laughs> so this design, however, uh -huh. is from Rachel Denini. Oh, I know Rachel with the fold in the paper and the yes. Okay, but this is um, an applique method uh -huh. that I like, and she's from Australia. I, I took her class. Or you did? I took her. No, let me. It's online. It was an online class where you buy yes. the pattern and yes. you do the thing. Yes. I am totally familiar with how to do this. And with it, the hugs and kisses yes. in the inside. Oh my goodness, I love this. But oh, probably only forty-five minutes to make that circle. Really? Mm -hmm. That fast, and then longer to stitch it down. Yeah. But to get this but to get it on there. And I did some fussy because I wanted. This is a super oh, old, is fussy. That is old, super old Tilda line from twenty. She just had her twenty-fifth anniversary of creating fabrics and nice. that is really old. Nice. Um, and this is one of my favorite lines. Hometown. Aww, hometown. Yeah. For all y'all Tilda lovers out there. Yeah. And I know it's a bunch of you guys. Thank you so much for showing me. Sure. All right, let's see where we're headed to next. <laughs> so is this yeah, you can see it. Just Google the show. Just put in best of, what is this? On YouTube? Best of Valley on YouTube. Yep. Okay. Or you can, you can hit it on Google and it'll come up too. It will. It will. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. All right. Where are we going now? Where did we where did we leave off? So we saw that one. We thought it was pretty. We were doing owl. So really Okay. All right. I feel like we have entered. These are small quilts. It's pretty. Look at these art. Oh my goodness. Art quilts, art quilts. Look at the elephant. Oh my goodness. Elephants. It's a cow. This is by Carol Mercer. This is by Jan Morin. This one's by Janet Morita. Morita. And this one here with the elephants, these elephants is by Linda Matthews. Ooh. Yes, I want to see the back of it. Let's look at the back of this. The back was the best. Oh, it says back part. Oh, the back was the Oh. Why did they why did they not make the back the front? Well, I guess it didn't matter. The panel was too big for the front. Oh, she thought the panel was too big. big elephant. It is a big elephant back there. Huh. But they wanted elephants, so they got elephants they on the got elephants. and elephants on the front. That's pretty cool. Well, that's uh, awesome. To me, you could use either side. I think you're absolutely right. You can, either side will work. Wow. Thank you for showing us that. Candy Bolton. This is such a great use of these fabrics. It is so fall. It is so fall. Oh, I love this. I want to step back. Oh, and it's what is this called? It's called Autumn Birds. It does. It feels so fall. Oh, I love a plaid. I love. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. My goodness. Let's see. Here we go. Really? Can you see it? Oh, it's so good. All right. We're gonna keep it. Keep it pushing. Bats. I'm such a batty girl. Was this the Fat Quarter Shop who did this bat pattern? Was it Fat Quarter Shop? Astrid Apple. No, this is Apples and Beavers. We just did it, apples and beavers. We did the dragon. If I were to enter a small, I should totally enter a dragon because it's so cute. This is pretty cute too. This reminds me of Pippi Longstocking. Did I just tell you guys how old I am? Because I do remember Pippi Longstocking. I can sing the song and everything. More Tilda. Tilda has got a squad out here in the Best Valley show. Serious business. This is such a cute, oh. I love this. That was by Betsy Peterson. This one is by Joanne Martin. Is that chocolate chocolate? What up? Hello. Did y'all give your thumbs up at the door? Did y'all pay your taxes at the door? Did you pay your taxes at the door when you came in? You know, I went to the biggest one I could get. Look at that. 
the birds. I like the big bird. I like that one. Oh, nope, I like that one. He's looking at me. Nope, I like that one. <laughs> Patrice Lamborn Ventura is doing this one here. So big. I want to do one of these. It looks like license plates. Crazy mountain quilters. Aren't there like some pins that are kind of like this too that you can collect? If you get into some, I don't, don't get me to tell the story, but I think there are some pins that are, that are, um, <laughs> oh, wow. Look at these. These are beautiful. Look at them. What are they told? They're, they're people. Yeah, they're people. They're two ladies. One is fighting cancer. The short one, because she's got her arms out, you know, like a fighter. Okay. Fighter so that one's fighter. Yeah, that, w that was representational of going through chemo and radiation. Okay. And then this one is, rep is dancing. Oh, <laughs> look at it. This one's dancing. Because I found out I was cancer-free and in remission. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. This is so, amazing. What a beautiful way to depict a journey. That's amazing. And so all the rough edges and, you know, the unevenness of everything was it was not an easy journey and it had bumps in the way and so that they're all depicted in those this is so cool now is this pattern your own is this your own design my own design this is so cool it's so cool look at it and you want an honorable mention nice yeah yeah so i've been walking on air i haven't come much <laughs> lower than this yet <laughs> Well, I think it's absolutely cool. Like one of the coolest quilts here. I would want to try this. You could totally teach a class on this shape. It's so unique. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. I really, really like it a lot. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see, what did you name this one? You named this one Fighting Cancer and this one's Cancer Free. Uh-huh. And you're Teresa Orr. Aw, so cool. Look at all this quilting back here. I like how you just went with it. It's so cool. <laughs> what a neat shape. Boy, that's a neat idea. Thank you. It's a great concept. <laughs> Man. Man, I like that. Yes, my journey, I should say. <clears throat> Boy, that's interesting. What a heck of a shape. I... Okay, so. Mary Lou does the dolls. Let's take a look at these cool dolls here. We've just got a little bit more to go. This show is not tiny, but it's not super huge, but it certainly packs a punch. I hope you guys have enjoyed everything that we're doing today. If so, go on ahead and hit that thumbs up button so we can push this out to as many people as possible and share our love. Oh, look at this one. And share our love of quilts and quilting and the things. Look at these dolls, they're so cool. I want to make a doll. I always want to make something, right? I say stuff all day long. I want to make this, I want to make that. These. You adore dolls. You know, it's funny how a lot of us quilters and whatnot have a similar love of whatever the things are. <laughs> we have a lot of the same interests. This is the chair I was talking about earlier. These chairs are so cute. You think she puts the dolls in them? Because now I want to make chairs. <laughs> Look at these. They're so cute. This is hard, isn't it? I know. There's so many I like. I know. <laughs> And the names are so clever. <laughs> Look at Dorothea. D Dorothea over there. Joker. Joker. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Disapproving Debbie. Aw, does Debbie giving us the thumbs down? Aw, that's what I feel like you guys are doing to me because you refuse to hit the thumbs up button. I don't know why. I don't know why. All right, let me get to let me get to going. Where are we? Okay, we're gonna go around this way and hit a right. So let's 
Let's do it this way. Oh my gosh. Look at this. If this isn't striking, I don't know what is. Is it is it glistening for you guys? There are some large stones in the center. Boy, that's it. Oh. My, my, my. It's so pretty. So here we've used some of the holographic fabric there. This is just it just packs a punch. But then again, you know, I like ombres and things, but this is just getting it. Um, this is by Claire Marks. Oh my goodness. Wow, 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 wow. Such a cool, I wanna do that kind of quilting right there. I wanna try it. Mm. I say I wanna try it, but do I really? And then we've got the use of this super bright. This is, um, it's not tinsel, but it's definitely shiny. I don't know what we're calling it. This is really cool. We are in the small quilt category. Kathy Belt Camp. And we've got some Mardi Gras here. This is Mario Susan Garvin texture, something different. It looks like this has got a, it's not a shot cotton. Oh no, just cool. Sandra Dower. I like that star in there. All right. Somebody do a time check for me. I think I've kind of lost track of time in here, which is fine. We only have one more row to go. But garden party. I tell you guys this every time wedding colors. So, of course, I like it. Interesting to do a flange that is not jumping out at you. It's just a little kiss of something. Just a little kiss of texture. 128, thank you. And that's my time, right? Yeah, your time is my time. Thank you. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. I need a swig of water. Small quilt. Are those sequins? They are. I have not seen sequins with a bead. And then it, is that hand painting there? To give it a little something? I believe it is. I don't think that flower has that on there in those ways. Well, that's unique. We've got a little bit of Swarovski here. I love the way that this flower is done. Those are different. Those are three different layers here. So we've got layer one layer two and i'm really far away from this quilt so i'll freak out layer three beautiful 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 <laughs> block of the month Folsom guild wow wow look polka dots <laughs> polka dots and a dress can't go wrong it's just nice and pretty Linda Russ music. I could maybe make that work. Excuse me. What we got here? Ooh. Huh. I. Huh. I. Wow. Yep. I'm taking a moment with it. I'm taking it in. This is by Kathy Veltkamp. It's a Jim Kingwell. It's modified a bit. 
out of my stash of scraps just because. Okay. Well, it certainly pops off that wall. It's really neat and it works. It really does. <laughs> it really does work. It's just, this is what I, I would be so tempted to throw in if I were trying to do this. You guys know I don't, I don't do scrapbooks, so all my scraps are donated. But I'd put in like a, I'd be so tempted to put in like a solid black or something. But instead, the consistency here are the zebra stripes, which I'm literally wearing a zebra stripe right now, and then a stripe, and then and I just, I would be so tempted to put in a solid to break it up. But she went with it. It's literally what she said. Oh, is that what? It's literally what she says. Uh huh. That's not her. That's not her work. I thought I had seen some other stuff. <laughs> All right, let's see over here. Blue spruce. Right? You get it like it was. It just, it, it was, it worked. I don't know. Who to thunk it? But I like that she went for it. The shape of these trees is so cool. Y'all know I'm a rectangle girl, so I'm, I love things that look long and slender aesthetically a lot of the time. Susan Telford. Trish Hill. Mary Stein. This is a beautiful panto and a beautiful color chosen. It's a it's like a silvery blue and it stands out beautifully against that. Oh, she did it with her embroidery machine. I love that she quilted this with her embroidery machine. It's like the perfect size to try that. And the design is really large. I wonder how many hoopings it took to do it. Probably quite a few. Okay, let's go check this out. Deborah Russell. so pretty it's pretty what size is this I wonder stars in the background all right now we're gonna go here we are going to say hello to your sister look at the chickens all right. Okay. Southwest Memories. <laughs> it does have a Southwest kind of feel to it. And the colors and the shapes. Oh boy. And this one is by, this one was by Mary Louise. That's the Southwest one. And then this one here is by Teresa Evangelo. And this one, first place in the kit quilt. This is a small quilt kit too. And it is just joyous. I like it quite a bit. I think I have this fabric. Those plaids. Oh, this is an Alex Anderson design. Or maybe she had it. How did these get on here? Are they, they stitched on, embroidered on? Look at the little bee. With the little, the little sprigs coming out of it. It looks like this was quilted with the, um, the uh, machine. You know, our machines have, um, what am I trying to say? Design stitches. Nice use of a designed uh, a stitch. Pretty cool. A long arm that has a computer. But then some of them say hand and this is Okay. Nancy Rink. Honorable mention in the small quilt K 
category. It's a very interesting secondary design that's right there. How it comes in. Interesting. Decisions were made here when she was doing this. It appears she placed the, those super orange pieces in the same place, which does a secondary design, which is interesting to my eye right now. Now we've got Rebecca Smith. Ah. Again, something else that just feels fall to me. This is called Golden Fields. Looks like a pretty simple one to put together. Is it called Raspberry Chocolate Rattlesnake? It really is called Rattlesnake. I miss that. <laughs> I totally missed it. All right, let's see what we have here. Look at those grays and that ombre just showing off. Look at this confetti fabric. Oh, it's confetti in the ombre. It's one of those. Quote works. I wonder how long one of these would take me to complete. The vase is the different shapes. Where do you see a coral reef? Outstanding first time entry. This is me. Ooh, <laughs> look at you. <laughs> I was just going over looking at all the different vase designs. Yeah, you know, I, um, I just, I got a Q20. Uh-huh and uh, started quilting my own quilts. Uh -huh. And so I kind of wanted to do a little something different in each one. Okay. Which was kind of fun. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. I, I, well, I like I it a lot. A ribbon. You did. You did a big one. <laughs> it is a big one. <laughs> Aww. That's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Altadena. I'm familiar with Altadena, California. I feel like I was just in Altadena for something. I was. I'm sure it had to do with quilting because, you know, why else do I leave the house? All right. We are in the mini. Oh, we can do mini. They have the best categories. First time entry, and she's out here winning big ribbons. Big, big, big ribbons. Look at this cat looking at the, <laughs> at the fish in the fishbowl. It's vinyl that is sewn over the fish that has been placed in there, and it's birds in the background. This is a very clever piece. It's called it Seeing Eye to Eye. Aw, this one brings me joy. <laughs> Let's see. Best embroidery. I love that they have an embroidery category. Ooh, what is this? Has this been painted? Look at all this embroidery here. Wall quilt. <laughs> Oh, the, the sewing machine is sewing something. Wow. Look at those birds. It's a lot of work. It's 
gorgeous. Sue Spargo design. Really? Look at all those featherweights. I really, there was a purple one over there I wanted, but that one has gone. I was too slow. <laughs> I was too, I was too slow. There was a really cute purple featherweight over there and it's gone. I'm gonna get a featherweight one day. One day. We're back to large quilts. Are you guys seeing quilts that you guys wanna try? I've seen several. I'd like to try this one too. Let's start with this one. Meadowland. Look at the color in there. That rust is just beautiful. How it deepens on the outside. So this is one of those cut a piece of fabric in the same spot a bunch of different times and then wedge it back together. Kind of like a one, um, oh, it's a stack and whack. There we go. Stack and whack. I want to try one. I just got to find the fabric to stack, you know, and then whack. Bonnie Blue Quilts, Lemoyne House. Look at that big, beautiful, bright block. Carrying in. That's a beautiful, beautiful, I wonder what the panto is. Computer assistant, long arm quotes it. I think I wish that in these descriptions on the side, so we definitely want to know what category. I definitely want to know if it was an original design. I want to know what the quilt design is. I want to know how it was quilted, if it was quilted. And then, you know, I want to know the name of the panto. At this, this point, I want to know. I want you to know so that I can know the things. We don't have any secrets. We're all quilty BFFs. I got questions. <laughs> you guys. Does anybody know what this is that we're looking at? Because what? Fish are friends, not food. So cute. It depicts it perfectly. Sea of Cortez. <laughs> so cool. Pretty cool. Ooh, this one is nice. That one feels very um, strong. It feels like a masculine kind of quilt. And you just don't see a lot of them that, that feel that all the time. Eh, sometimes. Not all the time. Look at the way that she used that print right there. This one right here. Oops, why do I keep walking backwards? I'm assuming this is foundation piece because look at how sharp those points are. They look great. Kathleen Malikin. show you guys this this print I like that it's not like navy it's like a green but like not it's great color great 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 color and then she used it in in the center block and I like the quilts in it oh wait a minute wait just a minute check out this quilting I, I need to back up but I, I can't I don't think wait wait a minute oh this quilt just got oh boy this got interesting Let's look. Can you guys see it? Can you see what she did with the quilts in here? Look at this. Okay, I'm about to back up again. So, I missed it at first. Um, it just looks like, you know, that, but can you guys see it? Look right there. And then look right here. 
and then look at the outside right there oh my gosh this is kind of epic oh <laughs> this is okay so here you can see it there's the border and then we've got look at this oh my goodness that's what's been repeated around that next part so think of, I think she like broke it up into like five inch sort of so maybe like a five inch border then maybe a five inch six inch border right here five inch six inch but what she used where she used it <laughs> oh, oh and then this right here comes out and oh this is killer mm, mm, mm. I see you Kathleen that right there I almost I almost missed that oh all right Kathleen Ooh. we call this now I'm, I always want to say the G word but we don't say that anymore um what is this pattern it is oh it's a Jen Kingwell and I say it every time I see it boho heart there we go this is not it's a variation I'm gonna make one of these I'm gonna I need to add this to the um I need to add this to the the list of bucket list quotes. This is a bucket list quote for me. It's not one that I feel like, but, but it really is it a bucket list because I can do all these. I can do a churn dash. I can do a nine patch. I don't see any techniques that I can't. I can sew a curve. Maybe it's not a bucket list. Maybe I just need to get to it. I just need to get to it. Look at it, packing a punch with all that color. This is by Carnival Flower by Kelly Dahl. So much beautiful. Variegated. What's up? I see you variegated thread and embroidery. Okay. Oh, Halloween quilts. I love a Halloween quilt. It's okay. Seasonal quilts. That's nice. <laughs> French braid by Deborah Russell. And of course, she's got the spider web in the background, perfectly chosen to go with her Halloween fabrics. All right. That feels like a nice sampler, right? Like a sampler style with a really cool border. <laughs> This is called Chicken Salad. Lori Holt. Look at those chickens. <laughs> Put the little buttons for eyes. Oh, she named them. Oh, this one's Hank. Hank and Katie. Beatrice. <laughs> Prudence. I wonder if these are really her, um, like her, maybe does she have chickens? Are these kids? She just gave them their own identity. That's cool. You can see the quilting in this one. This is some epic quilting that's happening back there. This is by Dina Miskell. White on white. Hey, this is a little De La Luna for you. I think that's what that one was called in the Tula Pink line. I see a lot of Tula in here. Oh, wait, I see all Tula now that I stop and take a look at it. It's all Tula. Those are some seriously deep scallops. Off the chain, Jane. <laughs> Are these some uh, future Dear Jane blocks? Oh, the 225 originated, originated as a Dear Jane. However, the project unfolded the sheer scale of 225 blocks. I get it. I'm going to do a Dear Jane. We're going to do the 225. I don't know how but we're going to do it. It'll take us about a year, maybe two to do it. We're doing it. It's one of the reasons why I'm looking for a traditional guild to join because somebody in there has got some Dear Jane knowledge. And I know everybody's like, they have it on EQ8. I'm like, yeah, but you know, I need a little bit more direction, I think. Irene Blanc 
This is by Linda Rasmussen, called Message in a Bottle. Look at the bottles. Collection of script fabrics. Ooh, I like that. I like it so much. Oh, when I first came in and I was running around, this one totally stopped me in my tracks. I think it's so cute. It's such a pretty use of these fabrics. But y'all know me. Nobody's turning any edges over here, but I think it's just beautiful. Hand turned. So nice. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I do love me some quilting. <laughs> I get very excited about some things. I know. I know. Y'all probably think I'm a weirdo, but you know what? Probably not, because if you're hanging out with me, you're one of my quilts BFFs. You get it. I like this. I wonder if this is a kit. What a cool use of a panel. You guys see those in the back in the church? I think it's such a cool use. Oh, no, no, you enjoy your show. You do whatever you need to do. No worries. Wait, I like this. I wonder if this is a kit or if she just knew that this would work. Either way, good on you. Good on you. Oh, and they're all churches. Oh. All I want to do is embroider a little steeple on the top of <laughs> But I have recently fallen into all things embroidery, so. Fancy that design house. Oh. I want this quilt, actually. I want it. I want to be covered in all the blessings. I sure like this quilt. I like it a lot. A lot, a lot. Visalia. Ooh, look at the background fabric. <laughs> I like it. Is this a Christmas quilt? It is a Christmas quilt. It is. It's, it's, ah. Uh love this fabric. I remember when I saw it. Ah, here's another one. Is this made by the same person? It is not. Maybe this is a thing. It must be a thing and I'm just not knowing. Again, why I need to join a probably a little more traditional guild in addition to the one that I'm in. I think I recently bought a panel that had this. I think, did I buy it? Hey, excuse me, oh. <laughs> How am I going to find you now? Here you go. You can Google me, or you can Google the show, or you can. Well. Either way, matter of fact, if you Google it right now, it'll probably come up. What is a, what is this? On YouTube, though? Just on Google. On Google. If you just Google it. Okay. Let's see, give me. I'm trying to get you a card, but I'm working one-handed here. Oh, I understand, but I'll just try to Google it. Yeah. What's the name of the show? It's the best, best of... Best of the Valley. Best of the Valley Quilt best Show? Best of the Valley Quilt Show. Let me see. I'm working one-handed. Yeah. I want to interrupt you. No, that's all right. Usually I have them. Here you go. You can take oh, that. Oh, wow. Cute. And then you'll... <laughs> Well, thank you. Yeah. You don't have your QR code on here? No. Oh, I, on. I have one with QR codes, but that's just a business card. That'll get you, that'll get you to me. Okay. The QR code will get you to, to buy things. Oh. <laughs> All right, here we go. Sunset in Japan. I feel it. It feels bonsai. It feels serene. It feels like good wall art. 
third place in the wall quilt design. Look at the background fabric and then the, is that like water and then ground? I like that. Tell her, tell her we're, we're waiting on her to watch with us. <laughs> okay, so what the heck, where Did are you? Did you see me? No. What'd you type in? I'm guessing the valley. I'm on Google. Go up, go Safari. up, go up, pull it down. Hit videos, see if anything comes up. Okay. Nope, not yet. I'm not, I guess I'm not there just yet. Best of the oh. Valley, put in Best of the Valley quilt show and see what happens. Okay, well that is. Mm -hmm. cool. Best of the Valley. Okay. Try that and see if I pop up. Okay. Thanks, Annette. Quilt show, yeah, try that. Video. Is that me? Is that me? I don't know. With vendors? No, that's that Jolly. No, that's Jolly Molly. That's not mine. Says they're like, nope, that's me, but that's not me right this second. You're so cute. Um, those glasses. <laughs> always something. Yeah. I guess I didn't pop up for you. I don't know why. What the heck? Is it we have bad service in here? No, you don't have bad service because we've been hanging out on. No, no, you definitely don't have bad service. The battery's not running out. No, no, it's not running out. Um, your nails. <laughs> I thought mine were wild. <laughs> um. I will pop up for That's sure. My his first quilt he entered. Aww, nine years old. you got your baby's entrance stuff too. I love that. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> She's coming right there. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what, who that is. It could be. It could be. She has quilts in the show, and she um, she showed us. She talked to us earlier today. Oh, this has sparkles in it. Can you guys see the sparkles? No, you can't see the sparkles, but it's sparkling. And it's a variegated thread. We must be in the youth section. We are. We're in the youth section. What's up, youth? All right, Tehachapi. There's something going on in Tehachapi. Oh, there's a quilt show in Tehachapi that I'm going to try to make it to if I can. A Hanford Guild member. I don't know. It might be her. This is cute. Garden party. Marilyn Droppers. I feel like she's had a ton of quilts in this show. Oh, it feels good over here. It was warm in the middle of the, the... Look at how they turn this curve with those feathers. I see you. Oh, the skill. It just follows right along. What a great idea design. And then we just echoed in the center. We gave it a little pop of orange on the outside with that flange. This is a Judy Niemeyer. These California quilts. You can have these quilts too. You can do it. You can do it. I'm telling you the patterns and look, most of this fabric is tilde. <laughs> so just grab you some tilde and a pattern and get to going. Cause it's just that simple, right? What is, it says Easter something, Easter, Easter. Easter Fair? Fair? I don't know what it is. But it's glittery and I like glitter. Oh, what an interesting block. Let's look at this block a little bit. How does this block come together? Pattern, fabric, and chocolates. Yeah, you, quilting and chocolate absolutely goes together. <laughs> Whose kitty is this? Okay. I feel as though I have done some backwardsing, um, but it will be all right. This is by Deborah Hutchinson. And then this one here, Best Machine Applique. And then we've got these two right here. 
And this is a whole cloth. Which means we are just talking about the quilting. No piecing here. They just wanted to show off. Show off, Marjorie. Or Margie. Show off. Rolling along. This is a cute baby quilt. Plop a baby right on there. It's small. It's a small one. But a baby would fit on there perfectly. Check them out all modern with the one um, non-rounded corner. See all the rounded corners and then the one that's not? Fancy. All right, birds and blossoms. Look at this. So we've got some raw. Is this really raw? It almost looks turned and then blanketed, stitched. It's not a blanket stitch. What's, is it a zigzag? Stitch is this. Well, that one's a blanket. No, this is a blanket stitch. But it looks turned and I don't know. It's a super tight blanket stitch. Nice quilting. Right through the center. Oh yeah, this is machine applique, so I'm betting it's not. Well, I don't know, they could turn it and then, but if you're gonna turn it, I don't know. I just don't know. Gosh, I can't wait till I do an album style quilt. I want to so badly. I'm gonna album, I'm gonna do one one day. I should have asked Inger if she quilts for other people. <laughs> Ooh, anybody know what my favorite block of all time, my favorite traditional block of all time is? You guessed it. Have you seen any of my logo? Have you seen any designs that are associated with the brand? Have you noticed that they all have a churn, do churn dash some kind of way? <laughs> These chickens are funny. Are they just, did she just freehand these? Are they a little, <laughs> so cute. Yes, Kathleen, you guessed it. Churn dash, churn dash, churn dash. Ooh. Are these all painted? I like the concept. I like this concept a lot of these are all painted. Fabric markers. It's so, it works so well. Those fabric markers work so well on the fabric. And yes, I get it, it's a fabric marker, but the, the opacity here and the consistency, it, there's, that's a good fabric. I wonder what fabric marker they use. Inspired by a dear Jane. That's a genius. I love this concept. What is this? This is by Judge's Choice. Yeah, I get it. I, I get why this is cool. You know, I'm a notions girl. I like the things. And that's just a really cool concept and execution. Go Dina. Dina, you are killing it today, aren't you? Circles. Yep, circles are coming to my channel very, very soon. We are going to do the apparently it's a party pattern. I say we, I mean I. And uh, we are going to knock out some curves and not be funky about it. We are just going to do it because curves are easy, especially when you do it with some glue. It just only makes sense to me. Grandpa's choice. Spectacular tractor. <laughs> Look at the, the wheel and the smoke coming out. <laughs> this is so adorable. It's just too cute. And that fabric is really jumping out as neon. And neon fabric is not that easy to find. I would like to find some just straight neon, like a solid neon fabric. But we can't seem to find it. Is this a, oh, it's a family tree. Family tree. Oh, it's a lot of, everybody seems to still be alive. That's excellent. Oh, obviously the ones that have passed on are down here. Okay. 
That's one way to do it. We've seen a couple of cool family trees on our quilt show journeys. Beautiful use of this fabric out here on this border. Group quilt. We've got another group quilt. This is custom. Look at that. It's different on the white than it is in those blocks. Wow. I think this one is my favorite. I really like this. I like the way that they chose to quilt this. Um, such cute designs mixed in with the background design. It all goes together really well. Nailed it. Oh, this one has got such great texture. This is wool, wool work. Yep, I'm doing wool at some point. I don't know when. Some more wool work. Look at that huge chain stitch going down to give the pumpkin some dimension. Yep, digging it. Digging it. Did I showcase that? All right. Oh, it's beautiful. Ooh, it looks like hand dyed shirts. Oh, let me see. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, let's see here. <laughs> I get it. I get it. You're not wrong. You're doing it right. You just lost track just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> yep. Trust me, I get it. This is so cool. Look at how this design goes through these three, and then this one does not. That one stays there. And then this one goes through these two, but then this one doesn't. Oh, this is cool. This is this is really cool. And even though these are all hexes, this one right here split the hexy up and then, oh, it's really just different. I wouldn't have thought to do it. I wouldn't have thought to try that. I love that that's what they did. Maybe they were practicing. Maybe they were doing it intentionally. I don't know. But it's it's just a, oh, this is a Libs Elliot. We know Libs. We do Libs. Libs is my people, my people. She's been really helpful to me. Um, really, 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 really helpful to me uh, recently uh, working on some stuff. So we love on us some libs. Friendship in colors. Why seems, of course, I should have known. Is that one put together with the Y seams? Oh, there's a way to cheat it. I didn't look to see, but yeah. I was putting together something and I was like, oh, why seems don't scare me. I know how to do why seems. And you know what? Those suckers got away from me. Whatever, I forget what project it was, but I certainly ran into a why seam and was like, I don't care. I can do a why seam. Can I though? <laughs> and you over there working. I wish I had recorded a video because guess who does not have a video going up for tomorrow just yet? I'm not saying it's not going to be up, but I'm going to say that as of right this very second, I feel as though some editing needs to be done. If you guys don't already, you guys make sure you guys follow in the off kilter crafter. He got some quilty goodness going on over there. Ooh, look, 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 look. And did you tell everybody where you're moving? Cause boy, do people want to know. What up Debbie? Off kilter crafter. Oh, let's see here. This is small quilts and this one first place. Look at all that quilting in the back, knocked back. It's tight. Yeah, they want to know. I was like, dang, they nosy. Like, ooh, they're dying to know. Aw, thanks, Jody. I gotta get a night bot in so I can um 
I can start approving people to drop their own stuff and all that. I got, I got things to do. I got things, lessons to learn, but hey, one step at a time. Oh, Ooh, look at this red work. Oh boy. Wow. This is gorgeous. You're going to do a giveaway for the people who guess where you're moving, if they guess right. Well, I'm going to guess. I saw somebody guess California. I was like, why would you guess California? I'm going to assume that it's not that. Because <laughs> if I didn't have to be here, I would not be here. So I'm going to scratch that off. So nobody guessed California. <laughs> but there's a giveaway happening. When is your giveaway going to be? What's up, Lori? Oh, I'm happy to do it, Anna. I'm just, I'm in awe. And look, it's got a little, um, that's vinyl on there. In the cup. And then it has the hearts. That's cute. I'm sorry, I looked back to the left because I, I had, wasn't finished staring at this. <laughs> Give me just a second to stare at this one a little bit. I, Jody said it's not Cali. I was like, no, I don't think it's, I just really didn't feel like he was moving to Cali. Somebody was like, California, no, nah, ain't nobody coming here on purpose unless they're in the movies and they already have their movie deal ready because why, 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 why? Okay. I love our weather, don't get me wrong. Um, and I love the fact that I can get very fancy nails very easily here. But after that, guys, mm, there is good food here too. Ooh, look at the spools. The spools are turned a little bit. I like a turn spool. Oregon plum sage. You know what I like about this? I like this side right here. I like how it comes. How it comes in right there. I like that. I like it. I like it. And I like this loose. This is a very large quilting design. It's not pulling away. It's adding, it's not distracting. It just sits back there beautifully. This is Trish. <laughs> he's not doing a giveaway here. And so he can't tell us here where he's going, but I think he's left, some, I think he gave some hints on, um, I don't know if it was on Sobeka's channel or on his channel. But I know everybody, everybody really, did. and now I wanna know. Now I want to know where he's moving. Oh, he lives in Texas now? Oh, okay. All right. Okay. So, although you can move to Texas and then move to a different part of Texas, and it'd be like you moved into a different state. I Texas is ridiculously huge, guys. Ridiculously huge. I like the spools too, right? Weren't they cute? It's like, look at the spools. One of them's turned a little bit, a little cat a corner. Lindiana, I know you just got here and I know you do not work for me. However, if you could put in the off kilter quilter, is it off kilter? Is it off kilter crafter? Off quote, off kilter. Oh my goodness. It's okay, Ian. I can't say my own name right either. If you could link, put his link down below. I, uh, what? Lindiana, did you, from that fever? From that fever? Oh my goodness. No, you don't have to apologize. Again, you don't work for me. It's okay. It is okay. However, I know that you're always the one who could drop a link. You're always the one who drops the links for me. And I want people to be able to follow and find Ian. Okay. Look at the quilting on this. Oh, it's so pristine. I get it. It's black. It's yellow thread. You can see it. But doesn't it feel right for this? Like, doesn't it feel like the perfect pantone at the perfect quilt? Thank you, Lindiana. Off kilter crafter. Lindiana, I'm going to assume that you're doing okay because you're back on here. And if you need to not be, you know, watching me. I get it. But was it from that fever? Because we talked about the fever. What was it, yesterday or the day before? And we were trying to break it. 
but you're out of the hospital because you're you're out I'm assuming Does she have quilty fever? Maybe so. Maybe so. Farmland. Thank you, Lindiana. You guys, if you're not doing so already, hop on over. We like to share the love out here. We be serious about sharing each other. It's important. Wow. Okay. You're still in the hospital? Oh my goodness, Lindiana, what are you doing watching me and dropping links? You just rest and feel better. Hopefully I'm bringing you some, uh, of, some of this quilty magic. You know, I swear quilts have healing powers. I do, I want you to get better. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But you just chill and hang out with us. Just chill out. They're trying to figure it all out. Okay. Quilting is magical. Sometimes when I don't feel good, and then I do a show that I feel better. They kept you? Okay. This one, first place in small quilt. Is this a small quilt? This has to be like probably right on the brink of what the small quilt size can be because this quilt feels very large. Small quilts, pieced computer assisted long arm quilting. It's a kidney infection from that surgery. Oh my goodness. Well then they need to just pump you up with some antibiotics. Pump you up, break the fever. You got this. We're sending out prayers and quilty prayers and all the love we can, Lindiana. You get better though. You get better. Little son share a secret. Huh? Boy, you another this is another quilt where the long arming meets a piece pattern that is just impeccable. It's it's just a perfect marriage. Can you guys see the quilting? I say that like I haven't been showing you quilting for the past two hours. So I know you can see it, but you talk about an, an impeccable meat. Oh, I love when people can pick a panto. I, it's not necessarily my gift. Like I'd be thinking I could pick a panto, but I don't really pick the greatest pantos just yet. It'd be all right. It'd be interesting, but I tell you. You don't want to walk around. I am so so happy that I got a chance to come to this show this show has just knocked my socks off I wasn't sure what to expect I knew that it was gonna be a smaller show but honestly it ain't that small <laughs> just ooh, look at this look at you look at here look at here oh man I'm trying to get back as far as I can Oh boy, nailed it. Small quilt design. This got an honorable mention, modified Judy Niemeyer. Look at this quilting in the corner here. Boy, these people can feather. Boy, they can feather. And then right here, it's just an echo until it gets down into this corner. Man, this is, <laughs> this is a cool, cool, cool quilt. Boy, I like that. Okay, let's shoot on over across the way. We seem to be doing okay with this gimbal. Thank the Lord, because initially it did some funky stuff, but apparently I didn't have it balanced properly. And look what we learned will happen if you don't. This one, Wall Quilts Peace Traditional, first place. They have so many categories, but they're like good categories. 
I just want to see more machine embroidery. Yeah, balancing a gimbal is, is the worst. The first one I did was harder to do, but I'm about to get another one, I think. I don't know why. This one works fine, as long as I don't mess it up. As long as I don't mess it up, it, it works fine. I mean, we've been able to do lots of shows, but... Ooh, look at this. It's a coat. It's a quilty coat. Y'all know how I love my quilted fashions. <laughs> I sell them all. This is the last one. Animals of the sea. So this is a, the Hoffman. Oh, okay. This is one of the Hoffman challenges. We've seen pieces from this before. And I guess it just travels all around. Hoffman has, you know, a couple of fabrics and they ask that you use them in a project and and then I think they give you a theme and then you just uh, bust it out and send it in. And then it travels. I should try to get in on one of these Hoffman challenges too. So I can speak to it from a, I've tried it. This is my experience. There's so much behind the scenes. Are we breaking up back here? Inspired by sunset. We're in the deepest, darkest part of the show. Are you guys still with me? It looked like it cut out for a quick second. All right. Oh, perfect. David, so you can hear me and see me. We're still going. Because I, um, I think I, I blinked and I saw something doing something funky. Um, I am just going to... This gentleman sells these pillows and he made me sit on one today. And you know what? It when it, the batteries last for like a hundred hours, when you lean back, those pillows really do just shake you up real good. They they do. They just shake you up. It felt really good. Okay, we've got some vendors and whatnot, and some quilts. I'm gonna end this back in the front at the Best in Show. Okay, you guys hear me and see me. We missed this one here. I walked to the back, back, back of the building. This is a large quilt by Susan Garvin. Ooh. You guys know I love a bow and I see a bow right there. I know, Jenny, this is a smaller show though and I try not to do the smaller, well, I need to, I just, I didn't get permission to film them. And you know, vendors, I do not want to upset the vendors. So I'll go back through and see if, um, if they're cool with it, if I have time. I've got a little bit of work, more work to do. Not that this work isn't the best work in the world, but we'll see. Now, if you are vendor heavy and you like a vendor, y'all be sure to check me out in like two weeks. I'm going to a convention and that convention will be all about what we can expect. I'm really looking forward to it. I will be working my tail off for y'all during that time. Again, I have tons of stuff coming up. My community eventually will be built and my community will be a place where you can find out about these shows prior to me just popping in. It will be a paid community, but it will not break the bank. I'm trying to make it so that everybody can get in. And um, mine's going to be a little different. We've talked about it at length, and I'm excited about it. I was supposed to be working on it today, and it will get pushed back yet again to tomorrow. But I'm super excited about that community. 
I can't wait to see what you guys are doing. I can't wait to talk to you guys more. I can't wait till we do all the things. So here are the special awards. If you guys want to freeze this. Um, yeah, I can't, I just can't wait for us to be able to talk to each other and show each other our projects and love on each other and love on this industry. Um, I've got some really interesting things. Hi. <laughs> I've got some really interesting things planned. We should, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna have a good time. What time tomorrow what? No, not tomorrow. There's nothing happening tomorrow. Um, other than a video will drop. It'll be that, that parrot video. I'm just working on the community. If you guys have any suggestions for the community, you guys know I read all the comments. I try to respond to all the comments. Y'all let me know what you wanna see, what you want from this community. You guys have given me some excellent ideas. So this is Best in Show right here. And um, I think this is where we will end. I'm gonna hit the button. And hope I don't look crazy because I've been talking and walking. Yeah. Okay, I'm hitting the button. It's not buttoning. Aha! All right, guys. We are finishing up here at the show. It has been an amazing show. I'm so happy that I got a chance to come and hang out with you guys. This was a good one. If you guys haven't done so already, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. And I will talk to everybody on the next one. Our next show will be, I think we have another show show in like a week. And then after that, we have a big convention show. So again, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Please like, comment, subscribe. And don't forget these shirts, the one that everybody's been asking me about, are for sale on my website, MA Couture Crafting. All right, guys. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. My channel, let me, um, uh,